1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hoy Apple ha lanzado la séptima beta para iOS 10.2. Just kidding, guys. What's up, guys? How do I help here? And today Apple has released yet again another beta, iOS 10.2 Beta 7. And as I mentioned on my previous video, you never know with Apple. They do these things. They released another beta. The software update for this one was 28 megabytes. So it was a very, very small update uh, for this release of the beta for iOS 10. Hopefully this is the GM. I mean, what else has changed? Let me show you what's changed. iOS 10.2, 14C92. That's the only physical change you'll find on this beta. 92 which was 91 i believe on the previous beta and i did run a geekbench score on this one and i found something rather interesting let me go ahead and show you guys here what's different you'll notice right away the single core score wasn't affected as much 34 39 on a beta 6 34 25 on a beta 7 but look at the multi-core score 56 92 to 57 38 that's a drastic change there on performance from one beta to another. I know these tests do have a margin for error, but they do tell part of the story. Nothing has changed physically, guys, as I mentioned. I know you guys like for me to make these videos to show you if there's anything physically changed. No wallpapers, no dark mode, no nothing. I can't find anything that's new on this beta. But, as always, I like to keep you guys informed. The Apple TV application, I mean, it's just ready to go. Everything is in place. By the way, some of the glitches like the no label right here, let me show you, where you can remove the labels from the icons is still present. You can see there, no labels on the icons. So they didn't fix that. They didn't fix any glitch that I know about that I haven't released as of yet because I want this software to be released already. Uh, again, hopefully this is the GM. I know we're all waiting for the jailbreak and Apple just keeps pushing betas. I think they're at this point they're just changing the build number <laughs> for one reason or another. I don't know. Maybe there's a small security improvement on this software, but obviously we won't ever know that. Everything is butter running smooth as you would expect, of course. And interestingly enough, Apple has yet to update the older devices that don't support iOS 10 to patch that lock screen bypass like the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 those devices don't support iOS 10 so you can still bypass the lock screen and get access to contacts and photos on those devices so I'm hoping they do release a software update for that now one thing I did want to mention is let me go ahead and connect my beats here to this phone and you'll notice up at the top of the status bar immediately after the beats are connected you see the headphones uh, right there show up on the status bar now this isn't new to beta 7 it's just something I never got a chance to cover or I missed on previous beta coverages and I wanted uh, you guys to know about it let's hope for an official release just a quick video updating you guys and i will catch you guys on the next one peace